I don't know, I saw this tweet by AOC the other day and I found it pretty telling, um, frankly, what she considers violence and then also who in the past she has deemed as being decent human beings. So let's look at this tweet and then I'll tell you what I'm talking about. And to be honest, and to be 100% honest, it was hard during this to be targeted plus marred as some sellout enemy of the people over a late tactical disagreement over one floor vote. Also, Burma to see figures excuse comments like fuck her and fuck anyone who protects her. That's not tone. That's violence. So people wanting so-called progressive politicians who say they support Medicare for all to advance that by forcing Pelosi's hand to actually get a vote on it so we actually see who in, in reality who actually supports it wanting elected politicians who say they support that goal medicare for all that's that's violence when when people want politicians to actually do what they say they believe in that's violence that's not just tone that's violence okay that's that's aoc saying that's those those words that's that's violent rhetoric okay so that's aoc According to AOC, a war criminal, this is from Red Ryan at Queer a la Mode on Twitter, good follow. According to AOC, a war criminal like John McCain's legacy was an example of human decency, but her left-wing critics are violent. Speaks volumes. I, I would say <laughs> it definitely does, Ryan. John McCain's legacy, this is AOC again. John McCain's legacy represents an unparalleled example of human decency in American service. As an intern, I learned a lot about the power of humanity and government through his deep friendship with Senator Kennedy. He meant so, so much to so many. My prayers are with his family. Really, this human decency in American service. Human decency. Motherfucker John McCain supported the Iraq War. Okay, that was based on complete lies and fabrications. I'm sorry, if you're on the wrong side of that issue, which I agree with Chomsky, that was the most disastrous foreign policy decision of this of the twentieth fucking twenty twentieth century, twenty first century, I mean really. Human decency. Somebody who supported the Iraq War, that's human decency. No. Tell that to the hundreds of thousands of fucking dead Iraqis. Tell that to the country that's still largely trying to find its way because of this disastrous fucking war and occupation that John McCain supported. That's human fucking decency. Get the fuck out of here. It's ridiculous. And then, yep, there's that tweet. Trust the process. <laughs> AOC's inactions are more violent than anything else she could do. And her inaction shall rot the death of so many Americans. America needs to wake up. Medicare for all. I mean, yeah, that's, that's violent. People wanting politicians to actually fight what they claim to be in support of. Medicare for all. Universal health care not fighting for that, not bringing that to the floor vote, not pressuring Pelosi by withholding your vote for her to become speaker so we get universal health care. People not having health care, that's violence. Tens of thousands of people in the U.S. each year die because they don't have health care. I mean, for fuck's sake, that's that's the real violence, not... <laughs> People supposedly being mean to her on Twitter because they actually want her to follow through with what she says she supports. I mean, for God's sakes, don't be ridiculous. Okay, and then oh, I saw something from Max Blumenthal on this that I also wanted to show. Blumenthal. Okay. Well, I scroll through that. So th this is the again human human. De she's praising, literally praising the character of fucking John McCain, 
who never basically never met a war he didn't like. I mean, again, I'm sorry. You don't be holding up anybody who supported the the fucking Iraq War some bastion of human decency and values. Get the fuck out of here with that. Jesus Christ. Look at this. On January 3rd, 2008, at a campaign stop in New Hampshire, when a questioner said, President Bush has talked about our staying in Iraq for 50 years again. It's in 2003 when that disastrous war occupation started. Almost 18 fucking years later, we're still there. And this is what McCain said. Make it 100. We've been in Japan for 60 years. We've been in South Korea for 50 years or so. And those are horrible things. We should not have any fucking military bases anywhere in the world outside of the United States. It's disgusting. And this is who AOC was praising as some beacon of humanity and resp I mean, get the fuck out of here. Okay. I mean, that's, to me, that's, again, you supported the fucking Iraq war. Nobody should be claiming you're some bastion of fucking human decency and respect. It's disgusting. Doesn't even support a minimum wage. I mean, for, for all right, so doesn't so didn't support uh, universal health care, and, and I mean, kind of seems like AOC doesn't either. So I guess it makes sense that she's such a big fan of um, of um, John McCain and supported the deregulation of of Wall Street and banks. I mean, this really. Wanted to privatize Social Security. Big supporter of free trade. I mean, for fuck's sake. So that's AOC praising that motherfucker. <laughs> but the people who criticize her from the left as being violent because they want actual so-called progressives in the fraud squad to fight for Medicare for all? Really? Hmm. Pretty, pretty telling, right? Imagine having the power, privilege, and popular support to flagrantly disrupt, disrupt business as usual in Congress, and you end up doing this. This is AOC. Here we go. The vote for Pelosi. Ocasio-Cortez. Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi. Yay. Hmm. Whole lot of whole lot of opposition there to the Democratic establishment, am I right? Hope you could see that sarcasm. I was laying it pretty laying it on pretty thick there. I mean, for God's sakes, really, this is the so called opposition party? I mean you're not willing to stand up to Democratic Party leadership and you call yourself a progressive. What's what's the fucking point? What's the fucking point? Seriously. Please, please let me know if uh, if you're able to to find one. I'd I'd love to hear what it is. Okay, almost to his tweet from yesterday re regarding her saying, "Well, I'll de I'll defer to to party leadership on the coup attempts that the Trump admin was trying to facilitate in uh, Venezuela." Okay, where are we? Here we go. AOC later said she would defer to caucus leadership on Venezuela, meaning she would not challenge Nancy Pelosi, who went on to stand and applaud coup leader Juan Guaido in the Capitol chamber. It all feels so familiar. You're not, you're not some progressive. You're not a radical if you're not an anti-imperialist. And this is an example of AOC's imperialism. It's disgusting. Here we go. Here's that exchange with AOC when Max Blumenthal was, was asking her. More or less consistent with the pathetic responses I received all day from members of Congress of the Trump admin launched a violent coup against Venezuela. Then, I mean, real, this is your, this is like your, why do, why do people idolize and, and prop up politicians, especially, I'm sorry, you're not, you're not a socialist in any way, shape, or form because you're not an anti-imperialist AOC. You're just a regular centrist Democrat, frankly. I mean, for God's sakes. <laughs> you're not fighting for Medicare for all. You think 
John John McCain was some American hero and United willing to buck the party leadership consensus when it comes to the coup in fucking Venezuela. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Should be like, yeah, I super important. Thank you for asking me that. I stand with the people in Venezuela against the attempts by the Trump administration and the U.S. empire to overthrow their democratically elected government, and that's fucked up. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure this doesn't happen. I'm going to start talking about it. I'm going to start introducing introducing legislation. I mean, that that's it's pathetic. That is a fucking pathetic response. I'm sorry. There's no, no other way about it. So again, I mean, I think it's just been very revealing this whole force the vote thing with all the members of the, I would like to call them the fraud squad now, voting for Pelosi. And then you have AOC comparing people criticizing her from the left for not willing to force Nancy Pelosi's hand to get a vote on Medicare for all during a pandemic. Those people are violent, but she props up John McCain as this bastion of, of 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 human decency. Get the fuck out of here. It's it's disgusting. It's disgusting. We see through that dog shit, don't we? Like the video. If you like the damn video, subscribe for more content. All power to the people, as the Black Panther Party always said. Peace. Much love.